the symptoms of carbon monoxide, um, I mean, it can kill you. If you breathe enough carbon monoxide quickly, you, you will die. Uh, and, but short of that, the people who are walking and talking, at least by the time we see them, have headaches, nausea, dizziness, fatigue, they don't feel well, and, and the thing is we treat them with oxygen, and in some cases we treat them with very high doses of oxygen, as in a hyperbaric chamber. About a quarter of the patients who receive hyperbaric are likely, destined I guess is the word, to have lifelong permanent injury. But without hyperbaric, the odds are much higher than that. 40%, perhaps even 50% of patients will have problems. Some people are going to recover no matter what you do, and some people not. Unfortunately, there is nothing that we can observe, nothing that we can measure that will predict outcome. So if a person is poisoned, there's a fair to midland chance that they're going to have trouble uh, down the road. And the trouble is thinking, emotional, Balance problems are pretty common, persistent headaches are pretty common, and those symptoms sound like something else. They sound like post-concussive syndrome. So it's not that much different than a person who had, took a hit to their head or multiple hits to the head. The carbon monoxide comes out of tissue and blood fairly quickly. Uh, that will happen by removal of the person from the environment and oxygen accelerates it, just mask oxygen in, a, in, in the ER we'll get rid of that. But the reason we do this is because carbon monoxide triggers an immune response. It, it triggers inflammation in the body, in the brain. And hyperbaric has the opportunity to block some of that. And that's really why we use hyperbaric is to block secondary effects that can continue on for some time causing damage in the central nervous system.